Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from home. It's a cold, wintry evening here in Cleveland, Ohio, and it's time for me to get into a beer. So the beer I have for you today is Coach Dunkel Dark Ale from the Schnitz Ale Brewery. And as you can see, since this price tag is right on the front of the can again, I picked this up from Simone's Beverage. I uh, paid $2.39. Not bad for a can of beer. Now, Schnitz Ale Brewery is a German-inspired brewery. Uh, they opened in 2021. I've actually been there a handful of times. They've got some really good food and make some good German-inspired beers. So this beer I happened to have at the brewery. Didn't realize it when I bought the can. And I gave it a 3.5. So hopefully it's that good out of the can. It's not a whole lot here on the can to read to you other than it says uh, Dark Ale inspired in Stuttgart, Germany. So that's pretty cool. There is a little QR code. I'll put that up so you can check that out. There is a little blurb here that I'd like to read to you real quick off Untapped. Dark Kolsch is a unique beer that combines the crisp, light characteristics of a Kolsch with the malty roast flavors of a dark ale. It has a smooth and refreshing taste with a slight hint of chocolate and roasted malt, making it the perfect beer for any season. Now, it's pretty brave of a brewery to do a Kolsch in general. Kolsches are very, very light, delicate beers. I've had the uh, fortune to go to Köln, Germany, and have Kolsches right there where they're made. I mean, that's the, that's the place they originated. And really, in my opinion, that's the only place that can really make a proper Kolsch. A lot of other breweries try, but it's just that, that special uh, way to brew it and, and the water profile that they have there in Köln. And, and again, it's such a, a light and crisp beer. The flavors are super delicate, so it's really hard to recreate one of those kind of beers. But this brewery tried to do it with a little twist. They made a dark Kolsch. Um, like I said, I've had this before, but didn't even realize it was a dark Kolsch. On untapped, it gets a 3.68 with 549 check-ins. And not surprising, there's nothing on uh, Beer Advocate about it. And like I said, I'd had this um, maybe it's about a year ago. Maybe a little longer than that. I don't remember it. Did not expect it to be that dark. I mean, that looks like a stout. I don't even have to uh, grab my winemaker's SRM chart because that's just a 40. That is way darker than I expected. I thought it would come out more like the color of a, a yingling or like an amber lager. That looks straight up like a stout. If you hand that to me, I'd think it's a stout. As far as the head, maybe a fingernail's worth a head. It's a khaki off-colored. And it's not really going anywhere. It's just kind of sitting on top, floating there. For smell, there's not that. There's nothing there. And in my experience with cultures, you really don't get a whole lot of smell out of them because again, there's such a light, light style of beer. I mean, if I really get into it. There might be a tiny hint of, of roasted malt, but I could be imagining things. And let's hope I don't imagine this taste. Cheers, everybody. Light to medium body. It's got more body than I expect. I guess that's the dark part of the uh, the ale. Like I said, this is an ale, but cultures are generally really, really light, really delicate beers. All you really get is some light roastiness, like roasted malts, but it's very light. The flavors here are delicate, like a cult should be. If I use my imagination, Maybe a little bit of dark chocolate, but it's really just the roasted malt that you get. 
but even that's not very strong. Uh, this is <clears throat> a deceiving beer because it's 5.5% alcohol and you look at it, you think this is some dark, crazy stout and it's not, not at all. As far as I, my opinion on it, I give it a horns up. This is a good beer. It's about a 3.5 in my book like I rated it on, on Untapped when I had it at the brewery. Uh, this would be another one of those kind of beers that uh, if you got friends out there that are scared of dark beers, give them this one. This would be a good introdu introduction to dark beers. And I hope you think my video is a good introduction to beer videos. If you do, please hit that like button down below. Hit subscribe. Have you had a dark Kolsch beer? Have you been to Köln, Germany? Do you have a cool German-inspired brewery anywhere in your area? Let me know down below. Until next time, embrace the adventure.